My work is a little bit hard to describe because I have to find these sort of totally new ways to torture myself. Every show that I've made, I've just asked myself, like, what's the last show in the world I would ever want to do? And then I force myself to make that show. The most unique thing about theater is just that sense of heightened self-awareness and awareness of the people around you and awareness of the people on stage. There's this exchange of energy that's happening that I think opens up a space for self-reflection that is unique. I think that Shakespeare has become stuffy and boring because of the way that he's presented. I feel like Shakespeare is sort of misunderstood because he has reached such a revered place. People think of his work as being like the height of sort of traditional prestige. But in his day, I think it was kind of similar to this small downtown experimental world that I was a part of. When I was in school, I was at a table with a bunch of other girls. I just started writing short stories about each of those girls that were these really gross romantic tales of their encounters with boys whom they found revolting and they would just be like ah that's so gross that was probably like my earliest memory of presenting writing to people and just getting like a very visceral reaction from them as a playwright that's still what I like about it that you can put these things on stage and just see people having this emotional response